today's mathematics class. Students, in our previous class, we have completed our exercise 3.1 and I hope that you all have understood all the topics. Now, we are proceeding for our new exercise, exercise 3.2. So, as we used to do, introduction about the exercise questions. So, in this exercise, only we will deal with two properties. Two properties of a polygon. Okay? So, very first property we will do in this. As we know, the sum of the interior angle of the quadrilateral is 360 degree. Yes, miss? So, here, now the property is about exterior angle. Exterior angle of a polygon. Okay? So, the angle measure of exterior angle of a polygon is 360 degree. First of all, this property will do angle measure of exterior angle of a property. Means, suppose this we have and this is exterior angle. So, this exterior angle is there. Fine. So, exterior angle of a polygon is 360 degree. This is one of the property. The second property we will do be we have to find out the number of sides. A number of each angle. One the same thing. In few questions, you may be asking about number of each angle. Then you, uh, in the question, it will be mentioned number of sides. Okay? If it is asking number of sides of a polygon, then in the question will be given number of each angle. Students, that if you will do the question, you will be better understand. But in general, only I am going to say that number of sides, either or number of each angle, whenever you have to find out, the formula would be 360 degree upon whatever is given. Means if number of sides is asking, number of each angle you will like over here. And if number of each angle you have to find out, then number of sides you will do over here. That's it. Because each means you have to find out for the one value. And whenever you have to find out for the one value, you would always do the division. As in junior classes, we have done to find out the more value, then we will do the multiplication. If we have to find out the value for one term, then we will do the division. So these two basic terms which we use in this exercise 3.2. What students? So let's start our exercise questions. In this exercise, question number 1, we have find the value of x. As we have done such type of question in our previous exercise as well. So the same type of question we are doing over here. But there is a little bit difference. What different it is, let's have a look. In the question, you have a figure. So in this, the angle which is given over here, it is outside in the, in the given quality you can say. Okay, outside. See, extended form. It is extended form outside the angle is line. Here also outside the angle is line. Right? But in the previous exercise, the angle was situated inside the polygon. No? So, there we have used the interior angle property. Here we use the exterior angle property for a polygon. That's it. This is the difference only. Fine? So, let's start the solution. We have exterior angle 125 degree plus 125 degree plus x degree is equal to 360 degree. Why? Sum of all exterior angle of a polygon is equal to 360 degree. So, 125 plus 125 is equal to 250 degree plus x is equal to 360 degree. So, the x is equal to 360 degree minus 250 degree. You know, whenever we are shifting the term from left to right, it will be changing its sign. So, the x value would be 110 degree. Students, very easily we found the value of x, but... 
one thing you need to understand over here whenever there is a condition and a property we are being using in the equation you have to mention always you have to mention in the equation right students so don't forget it so likewise we have done our question number one a part now moving towards our b part hey student in this b part what you have you have a quadrilateral a polygon okay so see all the angles in this are exterior angle only instead of this d point see this d point we have 90 degree only inside interior angle so outside will also be a 90 degree why because they are making linear pair and all the other angles given to you are exterior angle only as you can see so Simply you will take out the value of D that is 90 degree and all the angles are given to you exterior angle only so you will use the angle sum property for it and you can easily find out the value for this X right so this question you will do by your own student so this question will be homework for you you will do this question by your own right students so I hope that you will do it easily. So this is all about your 3.2 exercise question number 1 B part. Now moving towards our question number 2. Do we have find the measure of each exterior angle of a regular polygon of A part 9 sides. Student as we have done in our introduction part that whenever side will be asking to you we have to find out the measure of each exterior angle. And if the measure of each exterior angle is given to you, then you have to find out the sides. But the formula is same. That is 360 degree upon whatever is given to you. So here you are asking about measure and given is side. So the formula would be 360 degree upon number of side. So let's start the solution for it. For the given term, number of side is given to you 9. And measure of each exterior angle is equals to? 360 degree upon 9. So when we'll cut it, 9 1s are 9, 9 4s are 36 and 0. So the measure of each exterior angle is equals to 40, 40 degree. So see students, you have 9 sides. If each side is 40 degree, so 9 sides would be 360 degree only. It means our answer is correct. You can recheck answer, you can recheck your answer as well. Fine, in the mathematics will be very easy. So, with the help of formula only directly we have put and easily we have find out the measure of each exterior angle. So, this is all about your question number 2 A part. Now, coming to our question number 2 B part. Now, students, B part we have polygon having 15 sides. So, in the place of nine side, we have 15 sides. Either we have eight sides, but the formula, the matter will be same. So this question is for you. This question you will do by your own. But students, now moving further towards our question number three. Question number three, we have how many sides does a regular polygon have if the measure of a exterior angle is 24 degree? This question is just opposite to the question number 2. Yes, in that question we have given number of sides and we found the measure of each exterior angle. But here measure of each exterior angle is given to you and you have to find out the number of sides. And in the introduction part, the same we have done as for the given question we will write down the denominator part. But rest part will be same. Right students? So let's start the solution. What is solution? First of all, given term. What is given? Measure of an exterior angle. Measure of an exterior angle is equal to 24 degree. 24 degree. Now, exterior angle is talking about so we know sum of all exterior angle is equal to 360 degree. So, what is asking? Number of side. You just need to learn that formula. If number of exterior angle, so here would be that only. Now is asking number of side. 
number of sine is equal to 360 degree upon 24 degree. Right? Now, Cantic formula 24 ones are 24, 24 ones are 24, then 12, 24 fives are 120. So it means you have a polygon with number of sides 15, not degree because degree and degree will also cancel with each other. What you mean? So you have a polygon with 15 sides. But now this is our point equation number 3. Now moving further, our equation number 4. Okay. Students, it is the same equation like equation number 2 we have done. How many sides of this asked over there? But here the measure is given of interior angle. But we have the formula for the exterior angle. But here interior angle is given. Means, see have a look over here. Means this is a triangle. Whatever it means. You have a uh, polygon, interior angle is given to you, not exterior angle. So how you will find out this exterior angle? Using linear pair. Okay. So first of all, we will find out the exterior angle. That will be measured of each exterior angle. Then according, then put the formula. Then the same question we have to solve for this. Okay. It means here the interior angle is given to the measure of interior angle is given to instead of exterior angle. So you will find out the exterior angle first, then put the formula for the exterior angle. Right, students? So let's start the solution. As we know, the interior angle is given to you, which is 165 degree. So it is becoming linear pair. So 180 minus 165 degree because of linear pair. So we we'll, well, 10 minus 5, 5, 7 minus 6, 1. So exterior angle is 15 degree. Right? So this is the measure of exterior angle. Okay? So first of all, you write down the formula. As we know, the sum of all exterior angle is equal to 60 degree and the measure of each exterior angle is 15 degree. But we have to find out number of side. So number of side is equal to 360 degree upon 15 degree. Right students? Now cut it. 15 was a 15. 15 to the 30. 15 was a 60. So it means number of side. The polygon you have will be number of side 24. That's it. What students? Whenever we have to find out the number of sides, we put the formula for exterior angle. If it is given to you, then good. If it is not given to you, then you have to find out with the help of linear pair property. Right students? So this is about our question number 5 we have. Is it possible to have a regular polygon with measure of each exterior angle as 22 degree? Means you have to tell that is it possible a regular for a regular polygon if each of the exterior angle measure is 22 degree? Yes or no? And for this we have to find out. Yes, we have to find out the number of sides. If the number of sides will come in a whole number, then it's possible. Otherwise, it's not possible. I should the same question only in a molded, in a molded form. But the solution is same only as we have done so many patients till now. Let's start the solution. To have a regular polygon. So as we know the sum of all exterior angles is equal to 360 degree. And the measure of each exterior angle is given to you 22 degree. So let's start number of sides. For number of sides we have 360 degree upon 22 degree. So it will cut 2 ones are 2, 2 ones are 2, 2 ones are 2, 2 is just 16 and 0 as it is. 180 degree upon 11. So students, when we divide it, it will, the answer will come in point, means decimal. So in decimal, a polygon, yes, doesn't exist only. So it means, it is not possible, no. 
It is not possible to have a regular polygon with the measure of exterior, each exterior angle as 22 degrees. Fine student, if the answer will come in a whole number like 15, 24, 29, so it is possible. But in decimal, it is not possible only. Koi bhi figure hai polygon ki, so a full figure ho ki decimal means there is something half part full, something like that, so it is not possible only. Got students, so this is all about our question number 5. A part. Now coming to our B part. Now question number 5. B part we have. Can it be an interior angle of a regular polygon? Why? Students in last question it was asking about can it be an exterior angle? Now that was no. But here is now asking can it be an interior angle if the measure is same. This measure was 22 degrees. Yes, now as you know, if interior angle is given to you, how you have to find out the exterior angle? With the help of linear pair property. Okay, so first of all we have to find out the exterior angle. So, as we know, interior angle is equal to 22 degree. So, for the exterior angle, find out the measure for the exterior angle is equal to 180 degree minus 22 degree. So minus 10 minus 2, 8, 5, then 1, 158 degree. Means the exterior angle measure is 158 degree. Now by putting the formula, as we know, sum of all exterior angles, see every time I used to write the formula. So don't forget to write in the formula because uh, in the examination formula is carrying marks. Okay, so always we have to write down the property. You can say like this because of linear pair, because of this formula. So every time don't forget to write down these terms because they are very important and they carry marks as well. Right? So sum of all exterior angle as we know is 360 degree. So the number of sign one because we have to find out the polygon, regular polygon is possible for with this measure or not. Okay. So number of sides is going to 360 degree upon 158 degree. So when we cut it, then 79, 1, 2, 3, 16, 0. So the answer is 180 upon 79. Again, it will come in decimal only. So it means if the anterior angle measure is 22 degrees, then also the regular polygon is not possible. So we write, no, it cannot be possible with the interior angle with measure of 22 degree. Why? Because the answer is coming in the decimal. Okay? So this is all about your question number 5. Now coming to our last question of this exercise. Now question number 6. We have, what is the minimum interior angle possible for a regular polygon? Student, regular polygon means if you have a regular polygon, regular polygon means each side and each angle is same. So for that, for regular polygon, what is the minimum interior angle? Matlab, minimum interior angle, kitna hona chahiye for a regular polygon? Any. Let's see, triangle is the regular polygon. Yes? So, and each angle of a regular polygon is 60 degree. So, it means what is the minimum angle for a regular polygon? 60 degree. So, what will be the answer? Equilateral triangle. Because, we will write not only triangle, equilateral triangle. Because in equilateral triangle only, all sides are same. And we are talking about regular polygon. Regular means all the sides and angles should be same. So you may mention equilateral triangle. The polygon would be regular polygon. And the minimum angle is 60 degree for that. What is it? At rest, now quadrilateral is coming. Now pentagon, hexagon, they are the means maximum one. But it is as well minimum. Kaha se sabse chota regular polygon is going to start. And for that, what is the minimum? Angle should be. So, a minimum angle is 60 degree. Now, coming to our B part, what is the maximum exterior angle possible for a regular polygon? Again, maximum kitna hona chahiye. Zata se zata kitna exterior angle ka measure hona chahiye. 
so that it will be a regular polygon. What? So let's see. Again, you know, exterior angle measure is 180 degree. So at minimum angle is we have 180. So for the exterior angle, maximum exterior angle would be 180 minus 60. So that is 120. It means the maximum exterior angle would be 120 degree for a regular polygon, not more than 120 degree. Because if it will be more than 120 degree, so the interior angle will change your way or the interior angle will change your way, so a regular polygon will not be possible for that. It means for a regular polygon, the maximum exterior angle should be 120 degree. And for the regular polygon, the minimum come say come to itna hona chahiye. Fine. So that would be 60 degree. What students? So this is all about your exercise 3.2. I hope students you all understood the topics. This is very simple topic. It's asking about exterior angle and next exercise 3.1 we have done interior angle. Okay. So uh, just do the equation very carefully. All the equations you have to attempt the solve questions as well as the homework question which I have mentioned in the video itself. So, till then, thank you so much everyone. Stay happy and stay home.